Scorpio, this is Soul, and Scorpio, this is your uh, weekly tarot forecast uh, beginning October 7th and ending October 13th, 2019. The messages will be for Oct uh, yeah, <laughs> will be for October, but it's for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. All right, my fellow Scorpions, I hope all is well. Um, let's get right into your messages. Uh, without further ado, I'm using the Allura Tarot this week to uh, deliver your messages and also to using the additional uh, two cards from the uh, Gilded Reverie Lenormand deck just to provide additional information. Okay, so let's see what's coming up. There are, um, there may be some uh, reversals here, as I noted in Libra's video, um, <clears throat> but only one showed up. So let's just, and I will read it in the reverse if it does show up in the reverse, but I don't think it's that many. Um, so we'll see. Okay, so without further ado, your shadow card energy here. Uh, Scorpio relates to the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a good card to start off with. It's um, the Earth energies, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. But the Ten of Pentacles is usually about uh, a couple things. It's abundant or feeling abundant, okay, because you have all your resources that are available to you, whatever they are. Uh, do keep in mind this is an open general reading. It's an inheritance card. It's the wealth card. It's also coming into a large sum of money. So that could be will, that could be legal, uh, lawsuits, whatever this Ten of Pentacles uh, relates to you. It is in the upright position. Uh, but if it is not involving money, uh, it, well, because it is the Pentacles, it could be um, working um, and receiving a large amount of money. That could be a substantial pay raise, uh, you know, involving like a position change on the current job, or it could be a new job because the Pentacles will always represent uh, financing, you know, working finances, and it could be those things that I'm talking about. But it is traditionally an inheritance card, card that could be. Um, wills involved uh you know lawsuits and receiving a large sum of money and if it's not involving money then it's just you feeling very abundant and resourceful and also to just think about the uh, ten of pentacles if it is work related it could be that you're feeling secure where you're working or um there's something that you're uh feeling secure or stable about now that could be relationships your focus for the week though however is the death card which is your energy scorpio my gosh okay so the death card is the major arcana uh, that is showing up here and just to show you again it's in the upright position Scorpio uh, other water energies cancer and Pisces male or female so normally the death card represents a major transformation of some sort so it could be connected to that ten of pentacles when I said that someone gets uh, a change of uh, position and maybe a, a total change of career but whatever that is um, there's something that needs to be released in order for something new to um, come your way, okay? And that could be, uh, apply that situation to anything, you know, relationships, a thought process, um, something that's not working out for you, and uh, you need to change up. So, yeah, the death card is about transformation, endings, and new beginnings, okay? representing your energy so following the death card major arcana uh scorpio we have the ace of wands so there we go there's the start of something new after there is a possible release this is a card of inspiration it's also a card that is fast news coming to you and it's also always a touch of surprise ace of wands okay being inspired to start something new like i said connection to the death card Whatever that is and whatever the energies um, are for you, this is what's coming up. Fire sign energies, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. The aces are always representative of something new that's about to start. In this instance, it's the wand, so it's rapidly going to start for some someone out there. Okay, whatever that is, and it's in connection. There we go again. Double dose of aces is more important uh, in a reading. Ace of Pentacles follows that. Ace of Wands. This is the new job, change of career. Someone's offering you something. It could be in connection with the Ten of Pentacles, Scorpio. Uh, money being received, large amount of money. Okay, a new job, work. Um, this could in, uh, include investments. Generosity, though, 
because it's your reading is i feel that it's more the energy coming towards you than you putting it out there so back-to-back -back aces is always someone starts a new job definitely someone starts a new career someone starts a new uh could be in the banking industry this ace of wands is also about creative arts and stuff so maybe somebody is artistic it could be in the form of uh, music uh singing um you know it could be all kinds of stuff whatever the uh creative uh, energy that you have okay but you're being inspired to pursue it all right so following the ace of pentacles taurus capricorn virgo male and female we have the knight of swords making moves taking action being decisive this is being decisive and making moves taking action without having some sort of emotional impact on you when you do all of those things okay this is a court card and this could be you know, connected to the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, moving, yeah, moving in the direction of what you want. Uh, I do feel that there is a stronger connection, however, Scorpio, with the Death card, uh, because I feel that the Death card is about, that represents your energy, is about having to, um, you know, get rid of that old shit that's not working for you, whatever that is for you, so that th the fresh start can stump, uh, come for you. And we're already getting the presentation of what could be potential energy opening up for you if you are able to release something that's not working for you. Now, that could be a job that you find to, you know, find yourself to be in and it's not making, you're not making the money that you want or if you feel that it's dead end. Now's the time to make a move. All right. Following the uh, Knight of Swords that represents um, the air energies, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. We have the Five of Wands. Again, Five of Wands is small energy of friction. Normally, it's projection. Other people projecting onto you because something's going on with them. If that is the case and you you know, you know get yourself involved, now it may not be a true fire sign. It could be anyone. But it's not worth the time or your efforts to give them any feedback because it's whatever they're going through is what they're trying to put on you. As soon as the energy starts up with the five of wands, it dissipates. So don't worry too much about that. It is a five. Okay. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female represents that five of wands in the upright position. Now we have the four of wands. So now this is the happiness card. Okay. It's underneath the ace of wands. Several things come in here with the four of wands. A Scorpio, change of residence, uh, relocation, could be a, a new home, uh, moving to a different apartment, townhouse, condo. Uh, but it's the happiness card, cohabitating, moving in with someone, purchasing a home, leasing a home. All right. But it's all uh, geared towards some form of happiness, but is in association with another person or persons. All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. And notice there's a home. This is the house. OK. Relocation. And then you see the path. So that could uh, mean relocating or moving to a different area, different home or apartment townhouse whatever all right aries leo or sagittarius male or female now you have the temperance card major arcana so this is the card of relationships it's the card of beauty it's the card of restoring something that was out of balance for you and now this week you could find yourself balancing things or feeling like things are balancing out probably after having to deal with some other type of energy okay so again and then it's underneath the ace of pentacles the start of something new uh, that could be um, those things that I said a new job it's the uh, beauty of starting something new or something completely different it could be a relationship all right now we do have the cups which represent your energy absence from here but that does not mean anything Actually, I like the fact that there's no cups uh, for you, Scorpio, because the swords here, the knight of swords is about you making moves and decisions without placing any emotional emphasis on any of that stuff. OK, so uh, being detached from any types of energies and being quick about it as well. And then it mirrors the ace of uh, wands. So that's even more quickness. Last card that I have for you, if I didn't say it, Sagittarius represents that temperance card as well as other fire signs, Leo and Aries. Last card is, oh, you have the emperor, major arcana. So, of course, the more major arcanas that show up in a spread. This is only for a duration of a week's energy. This is some intense, uh, for some of you, could be intense energy. 
uh, the emperor is about you being in control and then having to not only be in control and then be in order of things as well. Um, this is a card of authority. So it also represents uh, it could represent um, law and enforcement things associated with law, police officers, judges, lawyers. Remember, we have the uh, Ten of Pentacles here. So someone could be, you know, finding out that they <laughs> want a substantial lawsuit, you know, something to that matter. But this is uh, a major arcana represents Aries specifically and then the other fire signs, um, Leo and Sagittarius. The Emperor uh, mirrors the Five of Wands, so the, the someone could be starting an argument, and it could be a true fire sign, uh, but it is, see, because this is a card of authority, all right? So whoever this person is, uh, do not feed into their energies because they're projecting onto you. All right, Scorpio, let's select two cards here uh, to complement your reading. And I'm going to give you my intuitive impressions. If I don't feel comfortable in what I give you, then I will throw in the comment section what possible com you know, combination meanings uh, can be for you. Okay, But these are not uh, messages that take over the entire reading. Uh, they're just additional messages. And apply it to your situation if it applies at all. All right. So we have the first card and now the second card. First card relates to, oh, the whip is not a good card in uh, Lenormand, okay? Think of the whip, and it may be uh, attached to some of the energy here with the five of wands, because this would represent arguments, uh, things being repeatedly um, done over. It's a court card, so it could be coming from this person's energy. Also, the whip is a sexual uh, type of energy, jack of clubs cardamancy so yes be careful of this but it has to be modified so who is doing the whipping okay public places garden garden shows up here and that means someone could be um whipping up some shit in public <laughs> okay that's basically what this means uh starting arguments or fights or something and it's in a pub it may involve a public place the garden represents being outdoors uh not necessarily specifically a garden but it's representing public places so whatever the public place is be careful of the whip and its energy so i will throw in a um another combination because i'm curious as to what this means when it means you know like i have this here the whip before the pub the public card garden uh, i think it's starting arguments in public places all right but uh just to see if i'm correct or whatever i'll throw an additional uh combination meaning all right scorpio please uh, be safe always emphasizing that safety wishing you all love and light until i talk to you again enjoy your week this is going to be for some of you a very very intense and powerful week on the positive especially because you have your own energy uh that's in force here the death card okay be well bye